and he wait the for that one for yeah that? for like the actual video mm, well that one's unfortunate I, at least <laughs> i went right. through run i don't understand <laughs> why obs has so many issues with this shit though like every, and even facebook it's so it's such a big problem i i don't know why they wonder why they're having issues with streaming uh right numbers versus other platforms when they make it so f***ed up comparatively like the setup on facebook to stream versus like twitch youtube or mixer way way more complicated for no reason but i digress uh that was a pretty good <laughs> fucking trailer yeah, uh i'm excited for the halo stuff uh it I looks mean, good they've been yeah. planning a halo movie for like the longest time and this is going to be a series being which probably is the best they're going to go about it because I mean the movie. Mm, the thing is, like, where do you place where do you place it, this movie in the universe? Because it's just so much lore, especially with the books and even beyond that. Sometimes even now the new <clears> one <throat> I play, like I'm kind of even was kind of lost even playing this new one because I was like, wait, where are we now from? Because I guess there was a time jump from five to six, and we really didn't get to see all that. And there's like mm -hmm. a, again these new, um, not the covenant, and they're called the banished now, and the banished are like don't believe in the covenant don't believe in whatever they're doing and they're kind of just their own new kind of foe that they have to face but yeah. there's like this whole kind of war uh, between them and the spartans that we really didn't get to see we just kind of get a glimpse of here from five we kind of just see master chief in space and that's where we start off with the uh, one of these um uh, soldiers find him in space and reactivate him and then that's kind of where we go from and like i said and then there's basically this whole war between them and all the spartans basically die you don't get to see that either i guess there's no more spartans left there's just you now which is um, i don't know so it's, it, it's, yeah like it's, i said it, it was just like it was just a little like whoa okay what's going on? and you get bits and pieces from listening to some of the audio logs here and there and but it's still i just like uh, yeah, it's just so so much like <laughs> I know they uh, I was watching a lot of cool stuff from X play and all them and they had did like a little kind of 20 minute 15 minute documentary on uh, Bungie and how they kind of were um, Were rushed in to do two. like I didn't uh, now that I think about it Like I didn't know two was an unfinished game like mm -hmm. they had to they had no time And they had to put out like the end because there was like a whole more grandiosa kind of ending that they were supposed to do and and they yeah they didn't get to it <laughs> and now that I, like i said now that i think about it like not, when i played halo 2 i do remember the ending and i was like what that's it <laughs> yeah halo 2 it's one of the reasons it halo is 2 is it's still a good game but just like it just doesn't just, meet the quality like, of the other halo games is the yeah, thing yeah it's definitely yeah what they and then like you said, it's was not, didn't have the time. Try to fix for it, but three still had its issues too. But um, it did. three was supposed to be the end of it because I mean, like Bungie didn't want to be the studio to be like, oh, we got to keep making Halo games. But Microsoft is like, you know, well, hey, we're the, you know, Halo is the face of you know Xbox and got to keep pumping out more <laughs> Halo games. And yep. Bungie definitely did not want to be the studio to keep doing that. And it's just yeah, you know, Microsoft starting their own kind of studio with their three four three industries to kind of be the halo game studio basically is what they're going to be i mean they they're they're not going to be really making anything else but hey oh, they have <laughs> for a while i mean up, three four but... three took over in what uh four or was the because yeah, they had bungie four. switched Ooh, yeah four mm -hmm. yeah yeah it was four i think it was bungie because bungie was done like you said after three three four three's been yeah, around three. for a long time yeah now. and then they did maybe i think odst and then yeah Reach was their other ones that they did too bungie yeah. and then that was their other one last they had, to one video, yeah but it was it they had some reach was stuff. good reach was one of my favorites too as well yeah. i always did enjoy reach reach is pretty um, good got to see like more of like the different spartans you know than just Master Chief well, that that's, we always get to see. And that's what I was going to mention on that story for the new one. So it feels like they're really trying to bring it back to what originally was, which was you Master, Master Chief. Chief is the yeah. only Spartan. You know what I mean? In, in the original yeah. run... Yeah. That's you it. know, and it was kind of it was kind of cool too. Like uh, then X Play did another kind of bit on like um, like who was the better character, Master Chief or uh, Phoenix? Uh, for, or uh, what's his first name? Marcus Phoenix. Ah, uh, yeah, from uh, Gears. Gears yeah, yeah, yeah. And they kind of went with Marcus Phoenix, and I, you know, I was like thinking about, it. I was like, yeah, they're kind of right. You know, he had a lot more going on. I'm... There was more of the backstory with all his other yeah. characters. Master Chief, we we get to hear him kind of talk a few. Master Chief like, is a plot device. Uh, he's not a character. <laughs> let's be honest. 
Um, Cortana is more of a character than Master Chief. No, and that's definitely no Cortana insult. More of the character no than insult he did. to him. He's he, and that's and part part of it's intentional. He is supposed to be an icon, not a person. That's why oh. you don't see his face, right? It's why all the other Spartans kind of right. He, uh, Master Chief, both game wise and even in the right mythos of uh, sorry. Uh, that universe, that's what he is, is the Spartan, the face of Spartans. Oh, and so I think that's purposeful. And honestly, despite, I do agree with that assessment, partially because I'm a bit more of a Gears of War fan than I am Halo, but also, like you said, just in story-wise, like, th that's not his storytelling purpose, right? Marcus Phoenix mm -hmm. is supposed to be a very relatable kind of character, grunt, picked on, right? Like, and to go through this world of his... Whereas, once again, Master Chief is something you use to bounce other characters' stories off of, right? Like, the Coven the whole Halo Covenant thing moves around him and kind of, like, you push him as the device to move the story. Mm -hmm. But personally, he really has no stakes in most of the story. Like, aside from the thing fact... They yeah. had, that's another thing they had brought up, was, like, yeah. Master Chief really is not that... He never has really the stakes of, like... No like, family, no... <laughs> he's he's a soldier he is like i said i totally agree and i, I think that's a it's an interesting breakdown but i th I think it's for a reason i don't think it's a negative thing at no, all definitely yeah i think i think once again that's how you become a symbol as opposed to a person for uh, mm -hmm. a good example is um spider-man and peter parker right uh peter parker is a person with personal issues right and things that affect Spider-Man is the mask in the costume because even Pete has been five different. Uh, wa uh, what it was he Hornet? He was Prowler for a while, right? Like <laughs> Spider-Man spent a bunch of time as other superheroes, or Peter Parker specifically. Yeah. And so uh, the whole you know the idea of of Stanley with you know the reason he has the mask is that anybody can be Spider-Man, and I think that's kind of supposed to be the idea behind. Master Chief, right? Because he doesn't look like anything or anyone, uh, he just, you know, he he could be you. He could be, mm -hmm. you know, anybody. I don't know. I, I like that plays idea. plays into that first person, yeah, kind of, you know, Phil, because mm -hmm. you're in that his view. So it's kind of, like I said, you're, you're Master Chief, basically, I guess yeah, you want yeah. to say that. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think um, it's, it's a cool idea. I, I think it's a, right, I thought it was well right. done. Yeah. But yeah, the show I mean looks cool. I mean the Absolutely. the anime, the CGI doesn't look too bad. I mean it's a show. I, I wasn't think it's expecting fine. like something. Yeah. yeah, it looks okay to me. I know some Here. people are kind of <laughs> some yeah, but it, I mean honestly, it looks okay for it looks good to be yeah. for a TV show and um, uh, yeah, I'm excited for that. I just kind of wondering where this is gonna again. I, I still get a little. Uh, it gets a little convoluted sometimes. The Halo story, yeah, more, because there's just so much going on there with, like I said, the books and. Well, and I'm jump. not they sure. They do these big time jumps from the from the games. Yeah. And, but like, so I'm trying to figure out where this one's trying to play. Like where it's like you know in the in the games. Well, you know, I don't I think we've even gotten official confirmation that this is going to be like a in canon run, or if it's going to be an adaption. I don't know. Yeah, because there were there was uh, one scene where it looks like he's hanging out with some of his because uh, he did have yeah. a team, uh, Har a Spartan team, and they that kind of I thought that's what they look like. Again, we'll have to see where. This no, no, is no, absolutely, go, and uh, and and not saying they won't either way, but we just haven't gotten. It could be because it's very reminiscent of we talked about those shorts or that little thirty minute thing they did way back. Remember yeah, yeah, way the back, training yeah. academy thing? That was very much not a. Once again, a Master Chief story, right? That was a story no. about the universe that has Master Chief in it at the end. Yeah. But this, I think, right, could be very similar in that we don't know if this is actually going to be canon for the game stuff, right? Or if it's just a, um, an imagining, just right? expansion more of the universe. I don't know. We'll see. Once again, it could I just guess. be its whole own thing. Think of the Marvel Universe as my best example, where the uh, S.H.I.E.L.D., does not really right. affect anything else. It exists in the same general universe. It takes cues mm -hmm. from the movies and yeah. the, right the games, yeah, but it's definitely. it doesn't affect the other way mostly. Although once again, even then, now we've gotten the um. I think it's been out long enough. We can talk about the 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 TV show connections, especially with Hawkeye too. Mm -hmm. But stuff like that, yeah, yeah, right, right. I mean, those those are yeah pretty good ones. Um, but I'm well, just saying something like that. Yeah, definitely, definitely.
So yeah, we'll see what where these. Um, yeah, because like, there's some characters I don't know who these characters are from the. Yeah, no idea. Uh, no. Yeah, quote. so I'm just the, the... really curious. We'll have to see what I guess if it's gonna be. Like you said, more of like you said, just Master Chief is in this universe, but then they're kind of more going to be revolving around more of like the actual people face character <laughs> instead of. Well, Master yeah, we yeah uh, we have no idea, right? It, and what it could be is what we're the exact opposite, where we finally get a delve into like who I doubt it, but that where we get a delve into who he is and what he looks like and why he became the Spartan and. And right, that process. Maybe it is that we have no no idea. Right, right. You know what I mean? It's yeah, and that's I why I love it. To go into ones. that more, yeah. With um, but yeah, we'll see what they what they'll do with the character and uh, this show. And I wonder how long are they probably will only go for maybe eight episodes. I'm gonna go for on this one since it's kind yeah. of the. the I think that's the standard now. Go. Yeah, the standard now is eight to twelve. I think we talked about that too, didn't yeah. we? But uh, um, you know, it, it is it is that way sometimes. Uh. So there was uh, one big thing that was happening in the comic uh, universe. I don't know if you heard. There was that book that got uh, banned in uh, the school board for Tennessee. Oh, um, it's Tennessee bans it everything. Was, um, it was a Steve C- a Cepho book. I, I don't um, never actually read it, but I actually I've seen it on the shelves before. And uh, now that it's been out there, and I actually now want to read the book because it does sound pretty interesting. But it's. Um, it's called. I think it's called Mouse. I don't know if it's called. Oh, Mouse. Mal. Spelled, Mal, Mal the Ma- M A U. Yeah. That's a classic. Mal? Why would they? Why would they ban a classic? Well, that's a classic a comic few, illustration. Like, maybe just a few little things. Is because there was maybe a few Mal has, explicit, Mal has explicit been language. a standard since night. When did Mal come out? Nineteen nineties. <laughs> yeah, they even got an award in the nineteen ninety three. I think from. I can't remember who it was, but so they, their reasonings were is because it was had some explicit language, and they had one nude scene in the background because it had a portrait of a nude. I th- and so I don't even think it was a woman. I think it was a nude mouse. <laughs> so Mal, the original uh, run is ninety one. Uh, oh no no no! I'm sorry. Uh, Mal is nineteen eighty. My apologies. Okay. To okay. nineteen ninety one is when it's run finished. So uh, yeah, Ma- it's a two volume uh, book is that was what I was told as well. Yeah, it's only 296 versions. pages because it was just a week, uh, like a weekly or monthly comic for 10 years. So that's only yeah. 12 by however many runs they had. But the thing is, and the why it's probably causing an uproar even more than it being banned is Mao is mm, uh, a soft, not even a really a soft one. It's a it's a it's basically like. Uh, introductory yeah, it's, it's to the Holocaust. the Holocaust, yeah, basically, but it's, it's done by a mouse and cats, basically. Yeah, it, it's yeah, it's basically to, the for it's to make it so that kids can read about. Definitely, definitely. You know, and it um, and it has been. I, I'm just so blown some away. Event, or not, well, it's based on his his family's yes. actual being in the act. So he yeah. he's he's written some of these characters on his family members. Yep. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was really interesting. Like, I've, no, it's I've, a like, great I've seen anyone. It on the shelves before, it, yeah, anyone who hasn't, it. it's actually very well illustrated. It's a very good book. I've only read it one time yeah. when I was younger because someone was like, "You have to read this. It's I like a it's comic just one of those staple." Books that they, yeah, I think they did offer like when we were littler that it was just yeah we had, it was you know, just it was around like in one of those book club kind of books to read yep. and. I, that's and, I said. I remember seeing it, but I just never actually read the book. Well, and yeah, and there's. It's not saying everybody has to read Mao, but to to no, outlaw yeah, Mao just... and then not outlaw this and that. But once again, yeah. it's Tennessee. What yeah, do you expect? but like I said, their like their their reasonings were explicit language, and then the naked mouse lady portrait in the background. I mean, I guess there's just so much worse. Like <laughs> I remember it's reading. Graders, though, you know, I think. At they think they're age, old. You know, there aren't they already teaching sex teenager. ed at that t- age? Well, no. They I've heard that they teach now sex ed even younger than that now. Like, right. It's like so maybe like even sixth grade. Or... I don't know about you, but yeah, uh, even when I was a kid, we had sex ed in sixth grade at the latest, and that was obviously you know growing up down we here. But did maybe uh, I think ours was not until we got to Rupe and they were doing they, <laughs> that's when they were really getting into. But I think that's when our minds really started. But. Um, yeah, definitely. Like I said, I um, I feel like that's a book that, yeah, like there's, okay, yeah, a couple of bad words, but it's like you know, there's just so much like worse. Dropping f bombs left and right, and <laughs> and 
and I could, I mean, <laughs> and I think I, why it offends me is more that the fact that it's technically historical allegory. So like, it's an important too, yeah. thing. Yeah. That that's that's what gets me is I think I'd be less offended if it was like, oh, it's some random comic that, right, that didn't and deal with an sh- actual historically. And with it being such a dark time, you know, okay. There might be a one or two bad words said in the book because it's a dark freaking time. P- PG thirteen <laughs> films are allowed one bad word. Yeah. They yeah. that legally they get one fuck. <laughs> they do. I didn't make but, the rules. That's what they get. No, no, no. Exactly. But yeah, like I said, it's just uh, we'll see uh, what happens. I, I know a lot of uh, a lot of people have been talking about in the comic book uh, world, and uh, even Stephen King came out and said something and. Um, it's yeah, just so just so many of the comic writers and uh, comic yeah. book stories, even around here, we're even starting to talk about it now. And so yeah, I, I thought I'd just bring that up. No, 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 it it's some a pretty good... important news going on absolutely. in the comic world. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely, it is, and it's it's just like you said, it's kind of crazy to hear about it. But I, I'm also not that surprised because it's it's Tennessee, so yeah. no offense to Tennessee, but. I mean that was probably the reason that maybe their their re- but who maybe they had other reasonings that they didn't want to really put on paper almost. <laughs> I, really I, I, it's it's not even that. It's the fact that like for me the uh whenever it comes to like the south and no offense to the south at all, but obviously there's a lot more uh historical issues to like get on in there, right? So like even when it's not like specifically towards stuff like that i I feel like it's the same thing with the dr seuss thing remember it's the exact same concept for me where people are just like they're just overreacting they're just overreacting stuff isn't he like because he's naked or it's something like that i don't know Mm -hmm. i can't remember i have no idea that was another one that got banned it's probably Um, for political rhetoric i don't know (laughs) Huh. Save but, uh, the trees. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> other, uh, other than that, yeah, that was probably one of the bigger things going on in the comic world. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. We did. I didn't really get too much. Well, think, going we on. did. Did I don't know if we kind of brushed over this because it was more so in January than obviously here at the end of January. But um, did you hear about the whole stupid, freaking uh, Superman controversy thing for Superman number five sales? It was just so basically someone had released like this pop post that was like. Oh, woke culture Superman number whatever doesn't mm-hmm. sell well because they made Jonathan Kent gay. Sales prove <laughs> oh, okay. that you yeah, remem- yeah, remember you saw that. that. Yeah, I remember. That and then they, they made his son gay, and then but right. what happened when that was Superman? Well, well was no, it, it, Superman that happened then. It's, or did, then... So Jonathan Kent took over the Superman title for oh, a while. Okay. He, he was took super. Over, okay. Yeah, he's the okay. Okay, he's right. The new so Superman that they're all now. they're all whatever. But beyond that, it was fine. It's already been that way since like October or whatever. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, but remember, yeah. the thing was, someone had released this post where the like sales or thing that it all got hyped up, right? But then Tom Taylor basically backlashed out. I was like, yeah, <clears throat> of course that chapter didn't do sales in gen uh, in December because it doesn't release until January. <laughs> literally and so people but it's so popular right. because of this dumbass news thing that like news stations are po- po- posting this where it's like yeah, oh that usually happens right with, it's like, so big dumb things, though like, to me like these kind of big things in comic books like remember the whole uh the bat tick thing <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that but at least that was in the news too. But at, like, but at least that was a real issue. That actually yeah. happened. It wasn't just like someone's like, oh, it didn't sell any, or they put a uh, bat dick on there, and there was no bat dick. It'd be different <laughs> if that was the case. I saw that issue. It had bat dick. Yeah, I have that's it still. That's yeah. That's <laughs> different than the oh well. It, it would literally be like them saying oh they put. Uh, a reference to so and so in here, so you shouldn't buy this. And then there was literally no reference note, right? Like where they're just right. bullshitting at this point to try to make a point. And and the problem is people who aren't comic book people, right? Like you and I obviously yeah. keep up and can see. They they literally you know the news didn't double check that info before publishing it. Why would they? They don't. No. no one. Yeah, and that's what gets no. me is I I'm just like, you know. Comic books already get enough trouble getting out there that we don't need false information going out there on top of it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Um, but yeah, that was the only issue, other issue I'd heard of. Um, I mean, we talked about the other stuff that came out, Moon Knight, um, other things. Maybe we could we could actually start looking to wrapping up here in probably five to six. 
Yeah. Because I know we wanted an early one. But if we have any of the right. <clears throat> last minute topics we wanted to cover, you know. Right. Um, um, let's see here. What else is it going to go over? I know I got a couple situated here, but uh, most of it, I think we talked a bit about was uh, Raising Dion, right? We talked about the second season Yeah, that season will be out two. here. Uh, when is it? About two days here. That'll be on. I think it comes out the first of February. Yeah, that sounds about right. And they've been dropping a couple trailers here and there uh, that were pretty cool. I, I actually really like the trailers because having not seen it myself, it, they were very informative. It's a pretty good, uh, good little story. I like it. Um, also, it has its first. I think it, this is the first time they had. Uh, well, maybe not. I might be lying about this, but like the the first kind of like. Uh, wheelchair actor kind of like playing a big major role because in the in the yeah uh, i saw i show, saw her yeah that i've yeah, seen the, the little show, girl yeah he has it's the little girl kind of he, he ends up isabel really right her at first yeah and then but they, they end up becoming very good friends and she's she's in a lot of the episodes like she plays a pretty good she like, was in the uh thing. she was in the trailers and stuff i think it may maybe it is and i think what it, it probably is is that well, maybe i'm not gonna say outright but if it if that's the case it's probably because she's being acted by you know actual disabled uh actor no, and, as yeah, opposed really, to yeah, pretending and acting yeah she has definitely yeah, and she's playing that that's what's cool about it, is like she's playing an actual her you know and i know a lot of people like that more they want more of that you know like real people playing like real you know disabled people playing real roles you know instead of or <clears throat> real i guess even now this time it's happening where real voice actors should play their real which i don't know about that that gets a little bit i'm know, okay if know. it's their actual person i've never had a problem with snoop dog voicing snoop dog no, I mean like you know, like a black person should play. Oh, an actual uh, voice an actor, like, I mean, I guess so. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I feel I mean, like that's you know, a little debacle with the I Simpsons, you know, with Apu, you know, and the guy yeah, who voices fair. him isn't actually Indian. He's and he all and, and he even was like, he, yeah, he he said that he's de actually done with that role. And when did he quit that? I think that was like oh, it's two been. years ago. Yeah, it's been, been a second. With. Yeah. But, at least, at least yeah, a I mean, couple. Just those things, you know. And, no, um, I, I and I I know the same thing for Big Mouth too, but I think she ended up coming back. Oh, okay. the uh the um the kind of nerdy black girl oh yeah 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 okay yeah so i remember she was talking about leaving too but then i i think she actually ended up coming back because i remember when i watched the new season it was still her voice it's tough but... once you've already established a character and once again i don't like it because that's somewhat like voice voicial ra racing thing right because like you know you yeah. could say someone sounds white or sounds black but what does that really mean because i met plenty of country dudes who i couldn't tell you either way they just sound country do you know what i'm saying like that's what they sound like it didn't matter if they're black or white they just sound like well how you doing today brother or uh, i'm just <laughs> exactly. saying it's so it's for me the voice one it's a little bit less i can appreciate the actual uh you know when it's live action i think it's a little more right. important yeah, because then it's visually and, and it goes back into the kind of, like, historical stuff with blackface that we won't get into, right? Where you're trying to not... Right. Why... Uh, what was it? Who is it? Brad Pitt plays the Mexican in the fucking... Or whatever yeah, in that movie. And, uh, I just, that, yeah. yeah. And, 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 I don't, and even then, I don't necessarily have a huge problem. But I see people's point on going to it, and I do understand the importance of visual recognition, obviously, right? right? Yeah. For, I mean, I mean, yeah. Right. You want, I want to see somebody of, like, what I have on screen as well. And, like, right. Same thing, like, now I see kids now. They, they're starting to show uh, who had it. There was a kid, a new one. He had, like, an actual prosthetic leg. Oh, um, the, uh, shit. It's a black kid, and he had a prosthetic leg. But what was he in? I don't remember, but um, I can't remember. but there's another good example uh, I thought of, which like, was even like now in video games are doing that. Halo yeah. five, uh, six now has like a prosthetic option where now you can put a prosthetic arm or leg, which on whichever side you want to do. <laughs> yeah, which especially makes sense in the future where we get those things. But well, obviously we have them now, but where they'll be more advanced. <laughs> I, I think it's a cool. Uh, the one that sparks into my mind biggest that covers both those would be Echo from. I think it's been out long enough we can talk about it. That uh, the Echo from hawkeye if you oh actually i didn't even ask had you seen hawkeye yeah yeah i did i did yeah no no you're right that's another thing too like now that i've been seeing that more getting more popular with like more of the uh, well they did the uh 
they did all for it. They did all three, but uh, you're thinking of the uh, AS. Is it the ASL or the SL? Um... I think ASL. Yeah. No, because the ASL is just American Sign Language. It's um... that's right. No, this is more because she's actually uh, well. Yeah. Well, she's actually deaf. I don't know if she actually had a prosthesis, but in the in the show, she was depicted as having a prosthesis. Oh, was she? Okay. Yeah, I don't oh, know. Yeah, you, she was. She, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, so yeah, she yeah, okay. she hit literally all of the margins of uh, Latina, deaf. Physically impaired, like she was literally as <laughs> inclusive, which is wild to me because honestly, the character had already hit that right. A lot of him in the um, and maybe that's what it was. Maybe she's not actually deaf, but she's actually no, I thought she was actually deaf, right? I don't know. We'll have to maybe we'll have to check that out. Uh, some of the mm -hmm. info, but that was once again really big. And I thought about it because I had never really given too much thought about it watching Luke Cage. That the visual representation is important because for, for, for the most part, there are no Latino superheroes on TV. No, like, not really. The, the the closest I could think is Cisco from The Flash. Oh, okay, yeah. That that's oh, about that your camera. Yeah, but that that's <laughs> about the closest I can think of is that one. Uh, and it's not, it's, it, like I said, I just never thought of it before seeing that character. I was like, wow, it is it is very nice to see a Latino or a Chicano on screen portraying somebody who is. Granted, it started supervillain, but at least is eventually a superhero. And, uh, you know, I'm just saying, it's like, isn't it funny how we right. always start as villains? I'm just saying, man, I'm all <laughs> fucked up. Um, but no, so it, it was uh, it's definitely interesting to see that kind of stuff uh, portrayed live. Uh, yeah, I, I think, uh, holy shit, what happened over here? Sorry, apparently something fucking spilled or leaked. <laughs> but... <laughs> But yeah, no, the definitely was an interesting. I think there's been a lot of good stuff. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't really have too much else who did the yeah, Dion stuff. But really. um, I know Peacemaker's been out a couple episodes, and I need to actually go. Yeah, it. It's same. Been pretty good. I heard. I, I've heard it's been most watched. It's definitely, probably get a season two. They're actually talking about letting uh, James Gunn do a whole nother spinoff series. It's even like it's even like brought so many like characters that like you would never ever ever thought you would have saw that's, on the screen. That's what I heard. <laughs> I, I haven't actually seen any of the spoilers for those ones because I, I haven't checked out any of the episodes. Vector or Victor Vigilante or is the one. Vi you're, oh, yeah, or, yeah. Uh, he's an actual character. But, Sometimes yeah, they make new ones, but yeah. Like, random like characters like, who is this guy? Yeah, so we'll, we'll see. Right, we'll I, I've been meaning to check it out. It's been one of my ones to put on my list there. Same. Um, I actually got to do... Uh, I got to do that and the Eternals still so we can talk about that at some point. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me know when you watch the Eternals. Uh, it should be. I'm probably going to watch it after this tonight and do so because I got a lot of other stuff to do too. But um, I'm probably going to end up doing it tonight. But right. I think we're uh, we're right there at yeah. about 30. I mean, so uh, Also, too, I guess if everyone wants to, make sure you oh, guys yeah, yeah. check out Boba Fett because there was a oh, yeah. pretty I have awesome an... episode with the Mandalorian. Last, I heard. Uh... Yeah, that one got spoiled immediately. Like, guess who's coming back? Who you can hire oh. for the right <sighs> price? And I was like, oh, well. <laughs> Well, if you kind of watched number f the uh, the last episode, I kind of already knew he's coming back because I even told my son I was like, Cause right, the but the but they played but I haven't one. seen any episodes and I know <laughs> oh, that because you everybody seen any episodes though, okay, then yeah, yeah. You're definitely like yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's like oh. it's great stuff, but uh, it's the problem with hype shows like that. Same thing with um, why I, w I wasn't willing to wait for like Spider Man, where it's like no, I just. There's gonna be too that many one, yeah, spoilers. To even that even my other to go see right away. even my other uh, what, watching One Piece, I had like stopped for a while to catch. I can't. I had gotten spoiled twice now, and I'm I'm done getting spoiled on a, that I'm show because it's all about reveals. <laughs> no, I I gotta go back and read because it you can't oh, no, watch. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like you're reading the yeah. Not yet, all but right. I'm gonna go uh, this week and do it because literally I did it last week and the literal intro for the first time in forever did that. Oh shit! And then now my uh, thing went weird there. <laughs> That's always beautiful. But, yeah, uh, it's been a pretty good one. Nice. Well, yeah, I guess we could end it there. And then, like I said, there, yeah, because there wasn't really much else to, to get in here. No, um, which is weird because I swear sometimes when we're not on, there's a bunch. And then when we are hitting the weeklies, then sometimes it feels like there's not too much going on. But it, we'll, I'm sure we'll get hit with a dump by the first week of February. There'll be a bunch of new <laughs> stuff coming up. <laughs> But yeah, it's definitely been a good episode. Uh, we'll de try to get it back next week, see if there's some more great stuff. And uh, oh, yeah, hopefully soon we'll be doing some more interviews again and getting some artists, uh, yeah, both let local me know if and you're abroad. Because I'm probably going for sure. It's uh, it's going to be a pretty good year. They have already the actress, uh, voice actress who plays Ahsoka from the Clone Wars coming. Nice. Uh, the Clerks um, and Jane Silent Bob.
Oh, and nice. That's that's the worth hobbits, the print. The, all the hobbits. Wait, uh, all the Lord hobbits? The Rings. No, just from Lord of the Rings, sorry. <laughs> okay, the, I was not like... From, not from the hobbits, hobbits. <laughs> but the, the Lord of the Rings hobbits. We, our boy Frodo and Sam. I was going to say, that's twins. still a lot of the hobbits. Because we got those <laughs> hobbits, and then we got the other hobbit. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but yeah, other than that, yeah, it's looking like it's gonna be a good year. I'm just waiting nice. for some comic uh, writers and artists to start kind of lining up here. But yeah, let me know. We'll have to go that one and see if we maybe do some stuff. But yeah, yeah, yeah we could try to then. do some stuff there. Awesome. Well, sounds great for everybody watching. Thank you if you came through. We appreciate you greatly, and uh, we'll see you next time on Comic Convos. If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month.